previously on the DIY Dust Collector. All right, so I really had to fight to get these two apart. Evidently, the friction fit achieved by uh, evacuating the air between two buckets was uh, well more than one hand, even two hands, could do. I had to fight quite a bit. So I needed to find a way of stopping the bucket from sliding too far down, and I didn't want to drill holes in the side of the bucket to put nuts to use as stoppers. I wanted something that would seal in the bucket. So I glued up a scrap of plywood and some crappy wallboard, and then screwed through the bottom of it with this sort of random scrap of wood. With the screw sticking up, I can line it up with this attachment for my router. It helps me describe nice circles. So having measured the bucket, I set the attachment to the right distance, scribed the outside of the circle, and then scribe the inside of the circle, and that's all it takes to make a ring that will sit neatly down inside the bucket. And the bucket still gets slightly wedged in there, which is what we want, a nice seal. So I crudely attach the existing handle to the upper bucket, and that's what I call a nice finishing touch.